Hi Aries, welcome to your spirit messages from September. I am Charlene Lizette. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're returning, a massive thank you to you for being a part of our High Vibe community. This may resonate with you if you have sun, moon rising in Aries. These videos are a little bit different than the traditional tarot videos because they do channel directly. So sometimes messages may come through from the divine team and the divine realm directly over to you. You'll notice my eyes will like glaze over or there will just be like interesting nuances, let's call them that, um, when that, that happens, okay? I do need to give gratitude and adoration to my deity, the Morrigan, to whom my videos are in honor of. Let's get your messages, okay, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Spirit messages. I'm trying to see if anything clairaudiently or claircognizantly comes through. So many cards. You see how much wants to pop out? I just need five, please. Sun, Moon, Rising for Aries. There's a... <laughs> Before I pull more cards out, hang tight. Okay, I'm just gonna keep those like that because I wanna get this message and I'm not that way I'm not receiving from the cards and from the team. So there's a couple of things going on here, okay? For some of you, you are still operating from your ego and it's time now to detach from that. What are you still holding on to? Why are you still choosing to uh, view things and manage things ego-based, okay? Um, there's work there that it's almost like you're in denial of or you're refusing to do Aries because it's hard. Uh, and so it's like, no, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. But then when somebody like says something to you, you're like quickly triggered or easily triggered. And then it's like, it's like you're in this in-between stage where you're not completely unconscious about it. You're recognizing that, oh yeah, I'm still operating like from the ego, but rather than like moving forward and saying, okay, like I'm operating from the ego. How, what can I do to fix this? Who do I need to talk to? What books can I read? How can I work on this? You're, you, you turn around and you're like, I'll do it later. Not right now. Later, later, later. Um, but so what happens is sometimes people may trigger you at, oh, whoa, and my eyes are like going very foggy right now. So it's like you're in avoidance of wanting to see what's right in front of you a little bit. Um, and so what happens is like somebody might trigger you Aries and you'll like lash out, right? And I'm an Aries sun and rise or sun and Venus. So like, I'm not coming after you. I know we can be pretty like, <laughs> Um, but rather than um, taking a step back, it's like you're like, ah. and, and also like we are in um, Mars uh, shadow period before it goes retrograde, Aries is ruled by Mars, Mars is Aries, the god of war in Greek mythology, and so naturally it's like that warrior energy um, that uh, can be so beneficial sometimes. Um, today, right, um, and now during the month of September, your your spirit guides, your um, divine team, I want to call it your divine army, is saying like, whoa, easy there, Nelly, okay, is what I heard. I should go like one of my own words. Um, yeah, play, don't be too serious, okay? Break the chain. I'm wondering if that, like, that, that anger, right, a resentment, um, um, uh, frustration it may also be like something that is familiar like it's a, a family pattern you are vibrate like your vibration is rising so this is telling me like one obviously you are a light worker right here on earth and this is one of your soul lessons okay one of your soul lessons is to understand to like not cut people's head off and chew it up and spit it out right away like there's a time and a place for that and this obstacle this challenge this resistance that you're experiencing right now is happening for you because you are the oracle and your vibration is rising and so you've got to like shed right then you got break the chain ancestral patterns rewriting the future so perhaps you grew up in environments where very much people just were like cut your head off first talk later kind of thing and so you learn that um, maybe some of your family members suffered from anger issues. Sorry, like there's a bug and it only comes out. Yeah, literally, like whenever I record from like one to four, this bug is out and it makes that weird noise. Only one to four. Like, stop bug, go somewhere else, please. 
And then we got play, have fun, celebrate, don't be too serious, okay? So maybe a lot of you are just like really up in your, I'm just gonna speak louder when that bug is going off. And um, it's like uh, play, have fun, celebrate, don't be too serious. It's like maybe right now it's time to shift the energy, right? Maybe you have been working so much and been like so busy doing so many things that you haven't had an opportunity to just chill the fuck out. And so now you need to chill the fuck out, Aries. Then you got Lemuria, creating heaven on earth is happening. Some of you may be Lemurian star seeds, so definitely look into Lemuria if you've never heard of it before. Again, this, this, I want to call it a learning lesson, okay? I almost get this energy like you're going to be really tested, like I'm being tested with this bug right now so you're gonna be tested okay um in understanding how not to chew people's head off and not go like cray cray right off the bat okay um because this is how you evolve this is how you grow some of you are also like moving on up in your careers okay um the opportunity for expansion for, for growth for new opportunities is is like literally within your fingertips like it's like you can reach it but you can't yet obtain it because um this i want to call it an anger issue honestly aries um it, it's kind of blocking you limiting you right now so it's about learning how to control that anger and knowing when to use it for your benefit versus letting it use you okay Let's get your last card and we'll clarify with some tarot. Last card and I get 10. Patience. It's a bug living outside. Children. It's a bug. little bug living outside. It's got so much to say, that little bug. Oh. Ready to see what this says? Trust the niggle. What is that niggling feeling trying to tell you? So people always say to me, what is the, what is the, what is the niggle? Right? And it's a weird word to Pleiades, devil mission. We know that already. Okay, you are definitely here as a light worker. Um, the nickel is this feeling that happens right in the core of your gut. And it literally is this energy um, where, let, let's give you an example, right? Let's just say you're in a relationship, okay? Um, and this doesn't have to be romantic. It could just be an interaction with somebody. And let's just say they do something that really, like, grinds your gears. <laughs> what kind of language am I using right now? Please let me know in the comments below if you use any of this, like, sl I wanted to call it lingo, slingo. Um, because it's ridiculous and, like, not how I speak. So where is this coming from? Um, if you're interested in a private reading, I offer two different types of services. One is a live and one is a pre-recorded. All that information is in the description box below. You can check it out as well as how to follow me over on social. Um, but sorry, the nail is like, like, okay, so let's just say you're in, um, talking to your parent, okay? Your mom, your dad, whatever. And they turn around and say something and you literally are like <laughs> triggered right away. And so like, let's just say uh, your mom turned down and says to you, honey, like you got to make sure you're putting, you know, money away. Um, you know, you have these goals and aspirations. And so now that you're making, you know, this much money, just remember to put a little bit in savings. And your parent is saying that from a place of love, right? Because they care about you. They want you to save your money. They want you to have, you know, stability in your life, good foundation. But rather than you seeing that message as a place of love, um, of coming from a place of love, you see that message coming in as your parents trying to control you and your parents trying to tell you what to do. And your parent is always hovering you, right? And they're not leaving you alone. And so, your your parents might be coming from a place of love and even if they're not right rather than viewing it as something that with compassion and with love and with understanding that your parents just want what's best for you 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 get angry and so you turn around and you lash at your mom or your dad and you're like just stop telling me what to do i'm not dumb blah blah, blah. and you're like you go off like that and then you're at home and you're like oh why did i do that that's that's the middle the ugh, why did I do that? That's the niggle. That's that's your your guts telling you, dude, you gotta chill out. You got I gotta stop that. That's your divine team saying, like, why are you talking to your parents like that, right? Like, yeah, we get it, man. Parents are fucking annoying as fuck. I'm a parent. I know I can be annoying as fuck, right? But like, this is about you going like a layer deeper and saying, why is this triggering me so much, 
right? Why can't I see that my mom or my dad, my whatever, whomever it is, right, has their best interest in mind for me? Why am I automatically like coming from a place of defensiveness, okay? Let's see what your angels, mess, uh, your angels, your divine team have for you from the tarot so we can get a little bit of clarity here on this, uh, on these cards. <sighs> I, I guess I like, get literally the energy I'm thinking of for you is rage. Rage. Okay, some of you need to like exert that energy, okay? Aries are a very active sign. And so if you're an Aries who's not active, it's probably not supporting you energetically and emotionally. And also like physically too. Aries need to move. Like we need to be on the hustle. We need to get shit done. We need to be working out. We need to be like da 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 da. Right? We thrive on that type of energy. Let's get the tarot cards, please. Five, starting with the light angels, archangels, guardian angels, guidance, goddesses, and spirit guides. The fool, yeah. Embracing this new beginning, right? Open, look at the imagery. Okay, I'm gonna show you some imagery, but the imagery in the fool and the imagery in the oracle card are very similar. It's a very heart open type of, um, uh, type of position. My head, it's like this really, but like, I don't really have space. <laughs> Break the chain, Aries. Break the chain. I'm not going to take these because a thousand came down. Let's get three more. That one I'm going to take because it was like the first one and it called out to me immediately. Okay, that five of swords wanted to show up before you guys saw that. There it is. Play. Don't be in arguments all the time. You don't have to fight everyone and their mom. <laughs> Some of you have serious mommy issues and like I'm I'm saying that as somebody who also had mommy issues until she sorted out her mommy issues by going to therapy, a life coach, etc. Okay, so work through that and if you're like really triggered and you want to turn me off or if you probably some of you may have even already turned off this video because you're like she doesn't know what the fuck she's talking about. If you're those people then this video is most definitely for you. There's a lot of you know I, as I've been going through the signs I'm onto fire I only got air left after this um there's a lot of triggering energy in september it's like we're evolving we're growing and so now like we're getting to like the nitty gritty part it's like the the back bottom shit that like never gets looked at two more cards please lemuria and justin Nago, please two more cards please lemuria and justin Nago. lemuria and justin Nago. okay there they are so let's see what's going on here. So we got the Queen of Swords and the Six of Pentacles, okay? So, one, oh, we got two major arcana starting off the month of September for you, Aries. So I do feel like it's going to be a very um, pivotal month in your growth and your evolution spiritually, okay? So look how I was saying the Pillar of Light and the Fool have both very similar imagery, okay? This is taking a leap of faith. This is embracing managing and handling and experiencing experiencing connections conversations etc from a new way of being okay no longer feeling like you need to like you can turn back and just be like you know what i embrace and accept all of this with open arms and an open heart think up break the chain ancestral patterns healing writing the future with the emperor I think that is like self-explanatory, right? All that anger we were talking about, the Emperor is great. He's determined, he's a fucking boss. Okay, but also the Emperor can be an ass. Okay, so like I said, that anger, those anger issues that perhaps are residual from your family patterns, the past, etc. It's time now for you to find balance because look at the Emperor. He holds uh, both one hand with an iron fist and the other that's more spiritual. So it's about finding that balance, okay? Then I got play, have fun, sorry, you got play, not I. Play, have fun, celebrate, don't be too serious with the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is literally somebody ready to fight, win at all costs. It's that person who fucking picks a fight just to pick a fight. Like, for example, you would turn around and say to me, like, oh, you know, your earrings are, or your, your outfit's pink. And the Aries would turn around and be like, it's actually purple pink. And then you would try and turn around to an Aries and be like, no, like I see it's pink. No, it's purple pink. I'm right, you're wrong, right? That's the kind of five of swords energy. Um, and so it's like, the universe is asking you to like shift out of that, right? It's like, why do you always have to feel like you're right? 
an emperor doesn't always have to feel like they're right. They just know they are. They don't have to compete. They don't have to be defensive, right? And then Lemuria, creating heaven on earth, it's happening in the Queen of Swords. So I really love the Queen of Swords in this deck. It's a little bit different than traditional tarot. If you see this this woman here, she's got like a bit of a, a bow and arrow thing with um, some butterflies in there as well. So what she's actually doing um, on the swan, and I can't remember what this flower is called, but this flower is all about like um, rebirth, okay? So in this deck, the Queen of Swords is a woman who takes her adversity, takes her challenges, takes her struggles, her pain, and she takes it all, and before she flips the bow and arrow, she decides that all that pain, all that adversity, all that struggle, as she releases it, is going to turn into something positive in her life. So all this that you're having to deal with, the icky, icky stuff, right, spiritually, your divine team wants you to know you can actually turn that. You can switch the script. You can switch the story. So you take it back. My anger issues, my resentment, my hate, all this frustration I have, and I'm flipping it forward and as I project it out into the universe, I'm saying that now I'm going to come from a place of love. Now I'm gonna have more peace in my life, etc. Okay? And then trust the niggle. What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you with the six of pentacles? Well look at that baby. What you feed grows. So you continue to feed your anger, your resentment, your frustration, these obstacles, maybe that's all that's gonna grow in your life, okay? You wanna switch that now, okay? So feed love into your heart, forgiveness, compassion, lots of heart chakra work, okay? My sweaty, my sweaty chest. Um, <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so that's your reading Aries from your spirit team, okay? Let me know what you thought of in the description box below. I would love to hear from you. If you'd like a private reading, it's all in the description box below. Sorry, comments in the comment section. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you for 20K. Thank you for your donations, your comments, your subscribes, your shares. Thank you for everything, honestly. As a single mom, this is my livelihood. Thank you for supporting my family. It really, really means a lot. Okay, we'll see you later, alligator. Peace out.